everybody, my name is Lenka Oštry. Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Before we start, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. I'm back from Europe, from Slovakia. I had a wonderful time with my family and friends. Uh, I spent Easter day, so I overindulged uh, in traditional Slovakian food. Uh, I had just amazing time. I was not here during the flood. I'm in Kozul Natal in Palito. I hope that everybody is doing well and everybody is safe. All right, let's go back to skincare. I have brought with me from Slovakia few products. Unfortunately, they didn't have many as fragrance-free options, so it was only four items. And in today's video, we will talk about the sunscreens and in next video, uh, we will talk about the serums I brought with me. I have no idea why in Slovakia the fragrance-free selection is so poor. Even in pharmacies, uh, they do not have uh, many fragrance-free options. Um, unfortunately, it probably is not really demanded in Slovakia. Hopefully, it will improve in the future. All right, the first sunscreen today is by Baby Seba Med. Uh, it is uh, pH uh, 5.5, it is perfume free or fragrance free. It is uh, called uh, Sun Care 50 Plus Very High Multi Protection Sun Lotion for delicate and sun sensitive skin. So, this is have both UVA and UVB filters and it is water resistant. I am aware that Sebamed is available in South Africa, but I haven't seen uh, this particular sunscreen, so I decided to pick it up and try it. And this sunscreen is combination sunscreen, or now it has different name. Uh, it's called hybrid sunscreen. It means it has some chemical filters and it has also mineral component. In this case, it is a titanium dioxide. Sunscreen with titanium dioxide or iron oxide are actually very good because they also protect us from blue visible light and it provides protection against hyperpigmentation. This sunscreen contains uh, diameticon, which is an emollient. It softens the skin and it also prevents transepidermal water loss, which is water evaporation from our skin. It also contains panthenol or vitamin B5. Uh, vitamin B5 is anti-inflammatory, it is soothing and improves the skin hydration and elasticity. It also contains glycerin, which is a humectant. It holds into the water and hydrates our skin. It also contains vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. It helps uh, scavenge free radicals. All right, let's see the application. I will insert the video now. Hey, I just colored my hair, excuse me. And my nails got uh, pink from the hair dye, so please um, ignore that. And let's start with uh, the sunscreen number one. Like with any sunscreen, you should put quite a bit of the product on your skin to achieve the SPF on a bottle. Because if you don't use enough product, then uh, you do not uh, achieve the SPF. For example, this is SPF 50 and if I put uh, very little product, I might achieve maybe SPF 15 or SPF 20. So the amount of the product is quite important uh, how much we use for the protection. The amount you should be aiming is about a teaspoon uh, or five grams for your face, ears, neck, and bring it down to um, your chest as well. Uh, of course, if you wanna put chest, you need to put a little bit more, uh, but uh, generally it's a teaspoon or five grams, face, ears, and neck. So the consistency is uh, like milky, runny. But it's, um, it feels thick and moisturizing.
it is fragrance free it smells it smells quite nice i don't know like uh, like a hemp oil it reminds me of hemp oil for some reason so i can tell you right away that i do not like this sunscreen because it's very greasy and this would be okay for like an outdoor on the beach that's fine and i think it's waterproof uh, yeah it is uh, water resistant uh, but i will give it 10-15 uh, minutes and see how it looks after it settles a little bit in the skin. It has been 15 minutes and I really don't love this sunscreen. It's still very um, oily, uh, greasy. Uh, it doesn't sting or burn around the eyes, so that's a nice thing. But it does has, um, but it does have a slight white cast. So this is definitely not good option for someone with darker skin tone because uh, I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but I could definitely see a little white cast on me so it would probably create this um, lilac hue uh, on darker skin tone so this is definitely not for me for like day-to-day -day use but I will use it if I go outdoor at the beach. Let's continue with the second sunscreen uh, and this is DM Sundance Kids 50 Plus and I'm not sure about the rest of the writing because it is in German and I don't want to watch German, uh, German language I never studied Germanese, uh, Germ German uh, so I don't know how to read it uh, but it is both UVA and UVB um, protection and Anyway, so this is more like a lotion or like a milky consistency. It is also a combination sunscreen or a hybrid sunscreen, if you will. It contains various chemical filters and titanium dioxide, same with the previous sunscreen. And it also contains uh, similar ingredients. Of course, they're not all the same. Uh, it contains the glycerin, it contains the dimethicone, contains the vitamin E um, and panthenol. So I won't be repeating all, all of that uh, ingredients again, what they do. Strangely enough, even they do, do have like uh, quite a few ingredients um, in common. The texture and the feel, they're completely different. All right, so let's see the application. I will insert the video now. It's also a little bit a runny consistency. And let's try it on. So this is a very lightweight consistency, more like a, a body milk, which is nice. All right, so I will um, I will be back in 15 minutes to see how it settles. I'm back, it has been 15 minutes, and this sunscreen settles quite nicely. It is not greasy. It feels quite comfortable on the skin. It is a little bit tacky, and uh, it is very moisturizing, but it is not greasy or oily. Uh, so it does feel very comfortable on the skin and i like it so i will definitely use this one uh, for normal day i actually wear this sunscreen uh, today underneath my makeup it feels 
comfortable it feels amazing it doesn't feel sticky or oily or anything like that it feels really really comfortable so this is a great great choice uh, if you are in Slovakia or other European countries where you have a DM uh, uh, stores so to, for comparison for my South African audience uh, DM is something like clicks but without a pharmacy and you have a different um, skincare brands uh, in one place uh, and that would be equivalent of, uh, of clicks store brand sunscreen um, yes yeah, so I uh, really really love this one I definitely um, suggest to everyone I can get it it doesn't stings around the eye it, it is really really good and that's all for today thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell so you can see all my future video and don't forget to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do ciao te see you next time Mwah.